so just kind of out here working, building a wall for a blind slash sort of camp area. I've been thinking there's there's a lot of talk in the last couple of days over the illegal aliens and the supposed ruling that illegal aliens are allowed to have guns. And people are going to call me an absolutist about this, and I'm absolutely waiting for the comments to blow up about, well, felons can't have guns. Yeah, I don't think that that's constitutional either. If they're not incarcerated and they're free to be released into society, well, they should be safe enough to have a gun. If they're not, why are they being released? That's what I think about felons. So... Maybe we should have a conversation about what's a felony and what isn't. Violent felonies, such and such. Anyway, the illegal alien thing, I feel like it's bait. And Randall from Grunt Proof, I'll put the, uh, the little screenshot from Twitter X up right here. You know, he basically said that it's sort of a PSYOP situation and uh, that they're trying to get us to go along with more gun laws like more restrictions on gun rights that we don't want. And I think that's true too. And I've already heard people saying Randall's a freaking government goon and all this crap. And I don't, I mean, he worked for the government, but I don't think that that's the case that he's some government, uh, you know, Tim Kennedy psyop goober. But I think that's true. I think that this is some sort of like backwoods, backwood way of, of trying to get Republicans to re-re-re about them legals who got the guns. Yeah, here's the thing. Get proficient with your gun. Avoid confrontation. They're human beings. I think that the right of self-defense is for every human being. Should we be allowing them over the border? No. Biden is doing this by design. Yeah, is it a uh, is it a tactic to get us to allow people who are probably going to get violent? Yeah. The deal is you're gonna have to learn to defend yourself. The government isn't there to protect you. The government's the one bringing these people in, allowing them to be brought in, turning a blind eye to the child trafficking and everything else going on. So it's just more bait to get us to be like, oh, government save us, make another law. That's all it is. So I'm curious, your thoughts on that my thought is yeah i guess let them have guns also gun shops don't have to sell them guns there's you know if you make a mistake on a 4473 you can go to prison for years so the idea that you know this could be a backdoor thing to make them to, to just basically freaking gnat in my face basically get at gun shops for having mistakes on papers you know it, it, all it takes is citizens individuals being trained and prepared, knowing how to take care of themselves, having two trauma kits, one for inducing, hopefully you never have to use, and one for relieving, which is more likely, get good at, at medical stuff and how to stop somebody from bleeding out, be aware, quit, you know, sitting with your back to a door at a restaurant and stupid things like that. Yeah, you're going to have to be more aware. You're not going to be able to sit there and stream ESPN while you eat your nachos at a freaking restaurant somewhere, okay? Be a little bit more prepared and conscious of your environment. But don't let them bait you into eroding your own rights because they've allowed an influx population. So that's, that's all I've got to say here. I'm going to do a little update on some of this... Uh, Stuff I've been doing here in the woods real quick at the end. Alright, so got some uh got some poles cut, got some ground poles put in, sort of just using <laughs> forest reclaim wood and dead stuff for the most part, and I've just kind of got started on it. Gonna build a wall, gonna try to put a window-ish right here at a certain point, and then the other side, right up here under these logs, that's gonna be a wall, and there'll be a back wall here. Not really trying to do a build video on this. Uh, eventually, if it's done, I'll uh, try to uh, show it off. But it's just a lot of filming and uh, a lot of work to get done with, you know, deer season coming in a few months. And I want to have it in. I want to have time for them to get used to it and that type of thing. So I'm just kind of throwing it together. Probably not the uh, greatest build you'll ever see. 
Got one pole put in there. Probably gonna fix that to the tree up at the top. I've even got some nails I might put in at critical points. Maybe that's not bushcrafty enough, but whatever. Digging another hole here using this uh, Ozark Trail. And honestly, I've been cutting roots out and all them roots and junk right there. If you're uh, curious about an Ozark Trail shovel, not bad for $12. And been cutting roots out and digging holes and hitting rocks and it hasn't, it hasn't just bent out. But had to put a, uh, I don't know what you'd call that, but I had to, had to tie in something and kind of seat it down there just because there was so much gap it was going to have the wall leaning and it's still going to lean a little bit but i guess as i as i go up i can uh i'm just gonna have to uh sort of you know that pole right there i'm just gonna have to figure it out there because there's kind of a gap but it'll be all right it's gonna do what i want it to do does it look like bob vila put it together hell no it doesn't just general kit got the flannel Got the two quart canteen and a freaking uh, Baco saw on a pack and all that jazz. Tourniquet. Well, and on that note, I guess I'll just end the video. I just, you know, I, I wanted to put that out there that this is this is bait, in my opinion, about the freaking illegals having guns. It, it really is one of them things where they think, oh, we've got them, you know. Just be more lethal, I guess. Get in better shape, and that's for me too. I'm still trying to do that. Anybody who watches the channel knows that I mention that a lot because I've I've been way, way out of shape, and I could be better now, you know? But, like, you're going to have to work. You're going to have to be aware. You're going to have to arm yourself and, uh, you know, be aware of, of your surroundings to a, a higher degree because this is a collapse operation. This is a Cloward and Piven collapse thing. Just don't let them erode your own rights. You know, at least we're not a peasant down there at the uh, mercy of the cartel. At least up here we've got something to uh, something to go on the uh, the offensive with. So, uh, you know, and that's not, you know, just disclaimer, that's not encouraging anybody to do anything stupid or be a perpetrator of any kind of crimes. I'm not advocating any of that. I'm saying you should be prepared for self-defense only. Okay.